morning. My name is Bernie Tyrell. I'm an Associate Dean at Keck Graduate Institute. And I just wanted to share with you some information about how IPHO student chapter started. I joined Mass College of Pharmacy uh, back in 2011. I spent 34 years working in the pharmaceutical industry for companies like Lilly, J&J, &J, AstraZeneca, and also some biotech companies. When I joined academia, I recognized there was a need within the students within Mass College of Pharmacy to have an outlet for the industry to learn more about it. And as you know, uh, Boston is one of the biggest uh, life sciences areas in the country. Uh, I had become acquainted with Jim Alexander and the work that Dr. Alexander was doing with forming the IPHO. So I asked Dr. Alexander to come to Boston to see what the student need was. Uh, he was gracious and he agreed to come, uh, arrived in Boston and he came to one of the rooms that we had. Uh, at first he passed by the room because they didn't, there were too many students in the room. Uh, I went out, got Jim, brought him in and said, I uh, said, Jim, these are the people that are interested in learning more about the industry and IPHO. There were about 125 students in the room. I think at that time, uh, it dawned on Dr. Alexander that there was a huge need within schools of pharmacy for more information about a career in the industry. Uh, from that, uh, Jim said that we're gonna start student chapters and Mass College of Pharmacy in Boston was the first student chapter. And the second chapter was the Mass College of Pharmacy in Worcester, Manchester. Um, the, as you know, the student chapters have grown tremendously over the years. And it was just Jim's good foresight of being able, able to recognize the deep need that we need to have uh, more information available about the industry as we all go through pharmacy schools. So hats off to Jim and his uh, insight and uh, his obviously pulling the student chapters together and all the work that he and his team have done since then.